Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and wanted to get back to doing a little bit of a solo nightfall with you guys. Seems like a fun week for it, we've got Savathun's Song, possible boss melting in the future. Um, Solar Singe is actually a really optimal option because most of which are going to be fighting. So if you think Thrall, Curse Thrall, um, Wizards, a lot of Ark is going to be coming at you, but you've also got Void from the Ogres, the Shriekers, and things like that. So Solar Singe is optimal. And then if you just throw it on prestige anyway, you can go heavyweight. So some of the enemies may be a bit more difficult, but with heavyweight, your sniper is going to be doing some crazy work. I say sniper because Whisper of the Worm is going to be the choice here. Now, if you've got um, Sleeper, that's going to be a pretty solid choice as well. Definitely some good damage, just not quite as quick. <laughs> it's going to do a lot, but uh, Whisper of the Worm is kind of broken in a great way. I hope more things get uh, bumped up so we feel this powerful. This is how some things should feel. Now, for my build, going on my Warlock, I did it on my Titan yesterday. Actually finished it, so didn't mean to. Um, but as it's solar, Dawnblade, of course, going to be important. Sun Bracers, so I can get, uh, you know, continual grenades. Potentially, you know, melee throw in the, in the face and get, like, five grenades. So just kind of a good run for that. Solstice Armor, just so I've got a lot of defense. Now, the one tweak here is going to be an Arc Scout Rifle. You're going to have quite a few knights all throughout this entire thing. And you're going to want to use this scout rifle to take them out. Mainly because their arc shields are kind of a waste of whisper ammo or basically anything else. Even if you're going Darcy and you're running this thing arc, but say I would probably suggest even in, you know, probably sleeper, solar rocket launcher. I probably wouldn't do arc because there's a lot of things that are going to hit you arc and they're just going to hurt a little bit more. Darcy's got a lot of ammo, but I think these will probably serve you better. If you've got a solar sniper, of course, that will probably do pretty well. Uh, but generally the arc is for the night shield. So you want to drop the night shields and then potentially what I'll do is just pull Whisper out and pop them in the face and they'll go down. Whisper is great for things like ogres. They'll drop fast. I did actually finish the catalyst so I do have box breathing so this is going to do a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, lots of fun. I'm doing this live on twitch.tv slash so if you guys haven't uh, caught me there in a little while definitely look for me when it comes to Forsaken. I'll be doing a lot of streaming, a lot of playing little breaks for video editing as much as I can. I'm out the weekend of the release, sadly. So if there's a raid release that weekend, then I'm definitely not making it um, bachelor thing for one of my best friends. So I'll be out of town, but, you know, I'm okay kind of spacing out the game. So we will have a lot to cover and stuff, so stay tuned. But let's get into this mission. Let's have a little bit of fun blowing something's head off with my sniper. Here we go. Alright, I'll say this now, this is not going to be a points run, FYI. It's Operation just going to be go through, Welcome survive, solo a prestige nightfall on your own, and get a feel for what's out there in the actual mission. Now, if you were doing a prestige, a I probably would still advise solar, but you're going to want to put some modifiers this on there as well. In extremely hostile territory. The hive are notorious for their cruelty. Expect the worst. Alright, so once we get up here, we are going to have our two acolytes. They're going to be... Uh, heavy bars. Die. If you want to actually kick off a rally flag on any public event before you start the mission, you'll start with full ammo, but I'll probably likely get plenty with heavyweight dropping a lot of it, so not really that concerned about the heavy ammo. I literally got three bricks right here, so that seems to be plenty. Now for Whisper, you are going to have a different shield, but this is still going to drop the wizard quickly, and that's what you're going to want to do. Wizard's down, now we can take out the rest. I always enjoy dropping the wizards like that, just feels satisfying. The sound they did for Wisp of the Worm is honestly, like, really great. Work on these acolytes, try and get your crits where you can. They're not so bad because they shoot void, but if they throw the grenades, they are going to be solar. So grenades are kind of your big solar issue for pretty much this whole thing, actually. Did not really mean to float that much, but I guess we're rolling with this build as is, so. So be it. Grab a little super energy, which I probably will use a little more. On my Titan, I actually went Hallow Fired Heart, so I wasn't using my super that much. Um, but I might use it a bit more in a couple spots, depending on what I'm fighting. So Now, previously what I did on my Titan, I honestly ran straight across so I could deal with uh, the Thralls coming to me, deal with them piece by piece, and then pick off the snipers. So, just in fairness, we're going to run this the same way. They're pretty easy. You stay out of range of the super from over here. As I said, this is not a speed run. This is, again, survival. As the guys come up, just pick them off in nice doubles. You can get some orbs to build up your super as well. 
kind of ridiculous how many orbs I'll probably get. So quite a few from just the kills on these. Grab your orbs. Super's up. Definitely want to get out of the way of the wizard of crazy. Alright, now I see you. Drop the shield. And done. Now next is going to be the knights and acolytes. So this is where I really will stay at range as far as I can. Acolytes are first. Knights will be dropping a bit later. Apparently there's a straggler. Uh, but right now just pick off your acolytes. Work on those just from range. This is where the scout rifle comes into play. Just pick them off. You don't need to do anything crazy. But again, that boomer still has some pretty damn long range. So be careful about it. A couple curse thralls will be coming to you as well. So again, just watch your range. Should be some on the other side. Potentially can take out this guy. So what the idea is here, I want to drop the shield, switch, pop him in the base. Nice and quick and simple. What's well, up to you guys in chat out there? Thank you guys for tuning in. Got a couple coming up to me here. Really great if you guys would actually kill your buddies. Wrong gun at that range. They do start to hurt a little bit the closer they get, but not too bad. A couple more acolytes and then one more knight. That dude is just straight on a sprint. Alright. Other knight should be... So when I kill one, it tends to leave one out in the center. Yeah, he's hiding. Now this one, if he hides behind, as he did there, it gets a little hard to shoot because that dude really just ducks quickly. And it's really frustrating. It's like if I move over here and hit him, he's going to move back. He stood still for a change. Last time I did this, he was just running back and forth the entire time. So now that the door's open, we're going to have some acolytes. That's where my... Uh, fun part is going to come in with either sun bracers if I can melee one and get all my uh, joyful orbs, but we'll see. Let's go try and open the door. Grenade. Good frown down. And also those. Now you got to peek in a little bit farther to open the door, but as soon as you go in that room, that door opens, you're going to have the fun ogre, so what you typically could do if you're going sniper or rocket or linear fusion, pull back to about where I'm standing here, and you're out of big boy's range. You're gonna have a few to deal with. That's gonna give me some nice infinite uh, grenade energy, or I can just charge it up and be fine. Now from here, I'm actually gonna wait for box breathing. One, two, he's done. And now I can push up and work on these guys a little quicker. When one drops, just go ahead and kill him that way. There's so much heavy ammo, I don't even have to worry that much. One final boomer is going to make things a little interesting, or try to, I should say. Really? Yep. Just whiffing my snipe shots there. He's not even that bad guy. Probably, honestly, just, well, he's going to stay in there and give me a target, and that's fine. Alright, grab any ammo that dropped in here, refill, and let's keep moving. As I said, this is not a high speed, high score, or anything like that. This is just if you want to survive a prestige. And honestly, the prestige is easier because you get to control heavyweight, you can control the singe. Um, this will probably be almost easier since we're all basically at the same level than even a standard nightfall. So. Keep that in mind. You're going to have your two heavies up top over here, right around this corner. Once you peek them, shoot them in the head. Broadcast came from somewhere nearby. Hurry! Well, two out of three, but plenty of heavy dropped. Gonna have two down below. Might even throw a grenade, see if they enjoy that one. Those are down in the bottom. Grab your ammo and we'll keep pushing. So heavy ammo in this one is honestly sometimes heavy ammo is so restrictive in the normal game. Like, seriously. Where's the fun of having a heavy weapon if you can't use it? I mean not all the time, I mean yeah, sometimes they're a little broken, but Generally, now one thing you want to do, I know the thro the acolytes see me, but I literally want to focus on the wizard before it starts shooting at me, so I can drop it quickly. Now, wizard's down, so I don't have those shots flying at me. I can deal with acolytes, they're fine, their grenades are going to hurt a little bit, but that's probably okay. 
But once that wizard's down, it's just a whole lot of less continuous fire that's coming at me. It's gonna be a lot more helpful. I'm gonna have a couple stragglers up top. Alright. And what do we got? One more around here. Now the Shrieker is up as soon as you get in range. Trying to kill all these guys, just may as well finish them off. Once you pick up the, the Void Charge, you are going to spawn some enemies. So, you can drop it. And you're going to want to pick these couple off first. Namely this guy. If I can get him to stand still for half a second, I have to reload at the most inopportune moments. Got him. Whew. Hurts though. Pick it up just so you don't actually have to run back up there and grab it. Pick off the last couple Acolytes. If they want to peek out, that would be amazing. Awesome. So now, we're going to run up. Shrieker's going to wake up, which is fine. Now, you can probably make it to the second platform between firings. The idea here is you always want to, really. That's just not cool. I'm not even sure where he came from. But you do want to be full health before you peek out. You know, it's going to go through stages of firing. So your best bet is to wait for it to, in a sense, reload, like that. Run up here, and dunk it. Grab your ammo and go. Can only be created by guardians. I don't understand how the hive got their claws on it. So we're gonna fall down, scan our little thing here, and this. If it's the way a normal run seems to go, if you go in what I would call normal direction, you run through that door. I've seen random weeks take me through there if I do strikes, but typically the nightfall always seems to go this direction. So. They're using void light to summon something. Yeah, I know it's void light. We get it. You're upset. Throw a grenade out there. Try and cook what you can. Commander Zavala, can you hear me? I mean, if they want to run into it, I'm not going to argue. We can hear you. Thanks, the traveler. I can barely hear you. So there is a heavy knight up here, so you are going to want to watch out for him. And also that grenade is going to hurt. The knight's going to hurt a lot, actually. So you want to try and yeah, not deal with that too directly. Try and get your acolytes first in the back. But if you can drop the shield off the knight and get a shot on his head without giving too much damage. The hive can't summon anything without those crystals. Quit twitching. Ugh. All right, well, this is going smoothly. There. This probably hit his, like, ear hole, but that's fine. You can even punch these as well. Just make sure you don't use the wrong button. I can't tell you how many times on PC I have hit F for super instead of anything else that I intended to, so just watch that. Good. That should put a dent in their Big plans. Ogre should die quickly once you get a little... Double tap, nice and fast. Gonna have some knights out there. Acolyte's not too bad, but I just try and take out the knights from range. Ow, 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 ow. Holy crap. Well, if you get in that much trouble, retreat. Fire still hurts. That's a lot of stuff, actually, so this is kind of ridiculous. You're gonna have some guys that are ahead, some are down below. I need to try and see if we can find a few to whittle this craziness down. Warlock floating. I have the wrong jump on. I was probably goofing around and whispering. I'm just like all over the place right now and jumps. How about you die that way? Thanks. Alright, so we got them coming in. Use those barrels when you can. That'll actually help you kill kind of groups of enemies when you get the option to. Alright, so for your knights down there, you know, same thing we were doing. Try and pick off the shield and drop their head. Same thing here. He's probably not really requiring a whisper shot, but I'm going to do it anyway just because it's more fun. Or I'm just going to hit a little barrel and explode everything. Well, sometimes that works. Alright, I do typically like to do this fight from this far side. That's why I'm clearing this side. Give me a little space to work with, basically. Should be right here. Gonna be annoying and all. Yep. Grab your ammo. 
and you're gonna want to pick off everything again from range. So if you can, you got Whisper, you got a Rocket, anything. Box Breathing on this one does wonders. One, two, he's done. And now the rest of the guys will spawn. So you'll have a few that'll come at you. That hadn't done it yet. You're also gonna have some Sword Knights coming, so be weary of those. Here they come. So before you go take out the knights and the wizards in the back, I would be weary of these sword knights. You're not ADS and then dealing with this. It's a really big knight face. A lot of detail on it though. There should be two actually. I think the wizards hid. So taking it safe from the side here, pick these couple off, work on your acolytes. Big ogres down, you're just gonna have some wizards in the back. When the, if the, you miss that two shot, there we go. I'm gonna say sometimes it's just easier to shoot these guys this way. You know, a big sword you think would hurt a little more, but I guess not too bad. Where's the other wizard? A couple acolytes in the back. And there. Really? I can't even see him. And so one more Acolyte Straggler and one Wizard of Crazy here. It's a lot of bullets, that's why I like Wizards to die quickly. But it's still 360, so things will definitely hit you hard. So many bullets. Alright, so that should clear this one out. Grab ammo and such as you go. This next room can be a little dicey just because there's a, a whole lot of angel. solar damage flying at Biggest you, so be careful. In all my lives. Grenade would probably my be words. my recommendation. Let them kind of patrol out and then hit a grenade out there and then see if you can pull everything into the center. Just remember. Couple of Better them. to release this light than let the hive miss There's four in there, so make sure you get all four because they hurt a lot. So much pain from their solar shots. They're like solar quadruple shot crossbows, and man, do they hurt! There we go. A little bit of jumping around. My jump is so off. I feel like I haven't used my warlock in a while, and you guys can probably definitely tell as I jump into the ceiling. But you know. I forgot one piece. Oh, I was going to run Luna Factions. Well, I guess I'm not going to be doing that one. What rift am I running? Healing? That's probably okay. I was actually thinking about doing Empowering Rift for the final shot. Um, just to get the most damage I could onto Savathun. But I did it with my Titan already and it seemed to go alright. So I've got to assume this will be as well. Shield down. Little turds hiding. One crazy annoying object at a time, please. Come on. I hate how he can hide back there. There. He's the annoying one. We've got another knight over here. We're not done, but he's definitely a lower health pool than the other guy. And he goes down kill. I love seeing numbers like that too. It's kind of satisfying. 74,000. Gets to be a little little bit more entertaining when you're seeing a bit of the crazy stuff. Gotta make sure I get some energy ammo up here. There we go. Once I kill this one, typically for this next section, I will run all the way over. Throw a grenade down, see what you can kill with that. Probably quite a bit down there in that region. With wizards and other things, you're gonna have a lot of stuff to shoot. Wizards, a couple knights. See you what know, I can do. One, two. Probably overkill using this thing on an acolyte, but it would be kind of fun. So now that the wizards are down, you can hear everything down below spawn up. Mostly the shrieker that's a little annoyed with being awakened. He's like, you woke me up from my nap. Man, that jump is crazy. Oh, man. 
I know all of you warlocks are like, what is wrong with you? But I'm just out of practice. So, we have to run, well, hold that thought. Well, I, sh I hit the one non-regular guy in the face, so I'll keep going with my melee. But the idea is we're going to run the Void Charge down below. So what I'll do is pick it up, see all those wonderful spawns from the ceiling, which is always a little trippy. If you want grenade energy, and you have a melee up, which of course I don't have a melee before that guy gets here, keep picking up the Void Charge so you don't have to re-pick it up. You're going to have a knight down below, a couple acolytes, mostly the knights again who I want to focus on first. he's down, life does get a little easier. Don't melee these. They will kill you. Can I see your head? Thank you. Alright, so once you run down, you'll have some in the back and there's an explosive barrel that works really well here. So if you see these few in the back, shoot this barrel right here. You'll kill most of those. Grab this thing. And we've got a few more around the corner. So I'll drop it right here at this doorway. I would have your arc up, because you potentially are going to look straight at the knight. If you do get him down, then peek back, grab your orb. I would run across so you can get a decent view over here. Drop it around the corner. You're going to have a couple acolytes on the upper deck here. One always hides around that corner that you can actually see. There we go. And then once you get close enough, you will spawn everything down below if it hasn't spawned already. Use these little pillars as cover. You're definitely going to have some ogres. You want to make sure they die. You know, a little box breathing. And... There's one. There's another one somewhere. Sometimes he's hiding in the back, though. So we'll work on the acolytes for now. Pick this thing up, set it down. Just make sure it's in safekeeping. Find your straggler acolytes. A couple more should be walking in. Pick it up. Big boy. Wait for him to peek. Don't even need box breathing to kill him, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't suggest mailing anybody with that thing, but I guess you technically could. Now let's get a little lower down, see what we're dealing with. By the door, shriekers wake up once you get in proximity, which is slightly annoying. Got a grenade, I guess I may as well use it. He's down. Now, the biggest thing I can tell you is when you run into this room, you want to do it with absolute full health on every run. And apparently we're not done because we've got some void grenades flying. So, float over the doorway so you can see the other side. I don't know where those acolytes are at. You need to check around the door. Emotes work well. Dude is just straight up out in the center. All right. All I wanted. Now wait for them to go on reload. And you want to get right here. Now this is probably one of the hardest runs to not die in. I know I've died, dropped it, and then you respawn after this, but it's just hard to get this run. So. Wait for everything to stop firing. I really hope they're not off sync. Okay, if I can get them both to do that again, that would be great. And the way those things wrap around corners is kind of crazy. I'm going to have to wait for the first one and the second one. Now, I blew it up and I died, so technically that's a checkpoint. It happens, it works, but you know, it's not a flawless run. But my checkpoint is... What, if it did it like it did yesterday, I'm actually really far ahead. So it's almost faster. Because I'm right here by the wizards. You have to run up that tunnel typically, and now I don't. Back off, you ugly piece of work! We have to hurry. So you normally have to run up a tunnel. So while that's not optimal, that's almost a faster way to get up here and fight the wizards. Good night. Grab your ammo before the floor falls out. The See if there's anything else you need, no and then we're going to head to the boss room. Now, the boss room, if I have a couple deaths, honestly, it's just because I'm going to try and melt the boss as fast back. as I can with Whisper. Together, 
We're gonna um, end this. I should have had empowering rift on, plan. honestly, because nope. that would have actually served me Same better. Plan. But Give we're gonna try it guns. another way just to see if it helps. I did this with the Titan. It's kind of fun. You don't really get to punch anything in here, so just be careful. A lot of curse thrall. Grenades might serve you well, but I can't punch one to get more grenade energy back. Should be able to get plenty of heavy ammo, though. They don't seem to kill each other as much as they used to, I feel like. I used to get chains in D1. Now they're a bit more stingy with their deaths. You have quite a few more in here. Plenty that come at you. Just hang here while they're spawning. There's a big dead something right there. Now you'll typically see one more. You'll have plenty more up here. There's a good fun chain. But there's always one. And I don't know why, if he's up there just to like be like, I'm a sad curse thrall. I'm stuck. I can't jump down. He just has to stay there and kind of take the shots in the face. So, we are in the boss room. We are going to try and melt him. Now, he's mentioning Taiko. What you're going to be dealing with, and unfortunately there's a big-ass pillar in your way, depending on how you do this. So, when you spawn, there are Thrall that are going to spawn in the middle. They are going to run at you, so you have as much time as possible. I'm also going to make sure I have a, a rift on in case I'm getting shot. But the idea here is... I'm going to spawn the boss, switch, and try and melt the boss in as few shots as possible. If I don't kill it quite as fast as I'd like, we'll see how it goes. I want to see if I can actually use a grenade to get it going. Nope, totally whiffed. I don't want to use my shot because I want my triple. It's literally one more shot. So if I redo this one at this point, I'll just cut back to this section. But here we go. Take one. We're going to make Give me you box proud, breathing. Come on, come on, come on. It moved, I've got my shots. Turn at me. No! Oh. So close. So that might actually work okay. This will still be a pretty quick boss run. Since I didn't die, we'll just give this a normal run. It's almost done though. So. Gonna have some knights out here and some acolytes to deal with. Pretty much as soon as the boss wakes up again, it'll die. So this will go fairly quickly, and honestly, it's just when the knights finally die. So try and pick off everything I can. Depending on if you need to run some angles, you can come over here. I tend to like this cover on this side for this area. Work on the acolytes before you do the knight, so in case the boss opens the space, then you can actually just finish it up. This is my typical zone that I would fight from over here. Apparently knights just don't stagger. Usually one more night before I can get that thing to open up. It's probably going to take me literally one shot here. Done. Well, and prestige nightfall. We are finished. So, I know with Whisper it makes it look easier, and if you don't have Whisper, you're like, well, what do I do? I and mean, I can try other runs, but also if you guys need help getting Whisper on PC, let me know. I'm happy to run that thing. I honestly enjoy it. So, that is a um, pretty easy run for that one. Don't even have to deal with that next section. It's a pretty smooth run, a little bit of glimmer. And, yeah, hope this guide helps you guys at least to know what to let you guys uh, expect. Now, if you're going to run Prestige, I Solar, um, you probably can still, through the phases of the fight, kill it long before, kill Savathun's, like, Shrieker there, before you ever have to go to, like, jumping up onto the platform and get through all the phases. If you coordinate, like, Celestial Nighthawk, for example, with three of your teammates, um, if you guys charge up, you know, an Empowering Rift, Sleeper Simulant. Stuff like that is going to serve you very, very well to kill this thing just about as quickly. Now, I didn't get the DFA, sadly, but not the DFA, I'm sorry, the Duty Bound. That is the auto rifle from this strike, so if you are grinding for it, you know, this is a good way to grind. So if you've got Whisper, you've got Friends Who Do, you've got Sleeper, you've got some Celestial Nighthawks on some Hunters, combine all the crazy damage you can and run through that thing as fast as possible and try and kill that boss as many times over as you can basically 
So that's your way to farm it this week. Hopefully that does help you guys. If you have any other recommendations or tips, let me know. I know some people, when they go in for their challenge card, they actually switch this thing over to add, um, well, add momentum on there, which is one of those... Uh, regeneration is disabled while motionless, but faster while sprinting. So while you're sprinting, you actually get your health back. So some people will just try and run through certain areas. Unfortunately, there's quite a few checkpoints in this one. So I don't know if momentum's like the best, but if you do need to run, you'll at least survive sections. So I know some people run that way. So if you choose to, that's a way to help a little bit in your running and kind of stay alive longer. So that's probably the other one I would recommend. I wouldn't put any other debuffs if you're just trying to go for a farm. Heavyweight and Solar Singe this week definitely seems to be pretty optimal. But don't forget, your somebody is going to need to take care of the, um, you know, knights. Now, if you have three people and two of you got, like, say they have the Celestial Nighthawk and they're going to go that way for the final section, you, one of you potentially could go Darcy here, so you just drop the knights even quicker and that's your sole job. Is Darcy night shooting with Heavyweight, you'll still have plenty of ammo. The other thing instead of Sunbracers that I would honestly probably do is Luna Faction Boots in a group. Uh, if you have one Warlock with you, then you can just keep firing, especially if it's like Sleeper. That would serve you very well to kind of get as much damage out in fast bursts. Um, but that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the run. If you did, leave a like below. Uh, leave a comment if you got questions. I probably already said that. But if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I'll keep more of this content coming to you as Forsaken is getting closer and closer. There's so much to look forward to. I can't wait. So... Uh, for all you guys, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.